Hello everyone, Ade is here and in this video I'm going to make a video lecture about cooperative principle. But before that, I want to say thank you for clicking this video. I hope you guys find this video is easy to follow and useful. Thank you. Corporative principles are first introduced by Powell Gries, an English language philosophy. He believes that when two people speak, we can presuppose that they are cooperating each other in order to convey the meaning properly and also to reach the agreement in terms of conversation. Gries noted that make your conversational contribution such as is required at the stage at which it occurs by the accepted purpose or direction of the talk exchange in which you are engaged. Simply put, both of the communicator, either the addresser or the addressee, have to follow a sort of rule called maxim of conversation so that the conversation is become more effective. Greece classified the maxims into four types. First maxim is maxim of quality. Maxim of quality is basically means telling the truth. For example, habis ngurus kemana lagi ya? Excuse me, are you Indonesian? Yes, I am. In this example, we could see that person B is applying maxim of quality with telling the truth that he is an Indonesian. The next one is maxim of quantity. As a speaker, we have to be as informative as required. We should not say more or less. For example, Where do you live in Indonesia? I live in Jakarta. In this example, we could identify that person B is also applying maximum of quantity with just giving the information as concise as possible. Ah. The third maxim is maxim of relation. Maxim of relation is simply being relevant to the topic of discussion. For example, Ah, I see. But you look terrible. Can I help you? Could you please tell me where is the nearest restaurant? Well, there is a McDonald's two blocks from here. In this example, we could find that person A is applying maxim of relation with keeping on the topic of conversation. The last maxim is maxim manner. In this maxim, we have to avoid ambiguity and obscurity. It means we have to be direct and straightforward. For example, Ah, oh, I see. Thank you. Anyway, would you please tell me where is the nearest gas station? Yeah, it's right next to the McDonald. In this example, we could see that person A is applying the maxim of manner with giving an explanation as clear as possible. However, some people are usually tend to violate this maxim by lying, floating, or opting out from conversation. Let's take a look at the example. There is someone who filed all the maxims. Let's take a look. Hello. Masampe mau uma. Hello, hello. Excuse me. Yes. Are you Indonesian? No, I'm Britain. My name is Arnold and I'm 24 years old. So you are 24? Are you sure about that? Yes, based on Mayan calendar, I'm 24, but based on Chinese calendar, I'm 23, but in Korean, I'm 23. So, where do you live in Britain? Well, cheese is my favorite food. Well, I'm not asking your favorite food, but it's okay. So, where do you live in Britain, anyway? Well, I live in England. I live near Queen's House. Duh. In this example, we could see that person C is violating all the four maxims. For example, he is lying with telling that he is a British. In fact, he is an Indonesian. And then he also giving too much information that is not being asked. After that, he also being irrelevant with the topic of discussion. 
and the last, he is giving an obscure statement. To sum up, person C is violating all the four maxims, such as maxim of quality, quantity, relation, and manner. I think that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.